busted. PLS governor shocks Tunubu. Nigerian exposes powerful politician and others sponsoring the Bokos in Nigeria. Tunubu never see anything. This is just the beginning. You cannot see that even the Nigerian governors are now uh, going after him and also going against him. Because why? Even in their own state, they are now experiencing the challenge themselves. Look at the uh, the minimum wage he has them to pay. So I'm saying, where do you want us to get the money? When everything is now very tight and very, very difficult. Where do we get it? That's good. Let's quickly uh, check on the content my my able listeners this is today's news governor Diko Rada of Katsina State has accused certain government officials and security personnel of facilitating banditry in Nigeria a situation he claims has morphed into a profitable business Speaking on politics today, on Friday, rather emphasized the complexity of eradicating banditry due to its transformation into a commercial venture. Rather explained banditry has now become a business venture involving not just criminals, but also some individuals within the government security outfits and those responsible for the daily activities of the populace. These factors contribute significantly to our inability to end banditry. Contrary to some speculations, rather dismissed the notion that political motives are behind the rise in banditry. The hypothesis suggesting a political motive is untrue. He asserted, he further revealed that many Northern youths have been recruited into banditry for a little as 500 naira. Thank you for listening to today's news. Okay, uh, my dear people listening to this very broadcast, now you cannot see that uh, this is becoming very, very um, um, touching. The Boko people are now showing their real self and making, uh, making it clear to Nigeria why they decided to form a Boko group. Can I see? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I love to hear this. I love to hear this. Um, my dear listeners, to be frankly speaking with you, um, I'll tell you that the federal government has not been doing anything meaningful to make this um, a forgetting issue but rather they have even be stepping it up supporting funding and even uh, assisting the Boko people to achieve more uh, more of their evil doings just like it was said it's it, it's to, we, are, we are told that it's um, it's now a business as usual. Yes, it's now a business as usual. Maybe we don't know. If you give it a proper check, you will see that it is now a business as usual. Because after kidnapping some persons, the next thing you hear is ransom. So uh, then after the ransom, the National okay, government will be done to pay it, and government will also okay will do that. What where do we meet you? 
or for how long I, is are we going to continue like this, my dear Nigerian, fellow Nigerians? Let's call it speed, speed. This stand, they know themselves, and that's just the truth. So please, um, I would like to hear from you on this, and then um, let us know what your take and what your opinions about this actually is. It is a pleasure. Don't forget to to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos.